Hey everyone, today I'm going to actually do the switch installation on my new MAME countertop arcade I'm building here with the electric ice LED switches. I've actually, uh, these player 1 and player 2 buttons uh, don't have the LED compatibility, but I basically while looking at these electric ice switches, I simply just drilled a hole through the bottom of it and ran LEDs into them. So while they won't be nice and bright as these electric ice switches that are meant to be illuminated, these will at least light up. They look almost like a little bit of a tobacco smoker's teeth yellow uh, in color, but that's fine by me. At least they do light up. So, as I demonstrated before in uh, the installation of the LED wiring and the actual, excuse me, in the actual wiring of the LEDs in my other videos, um, we're going to put in the switch here. So uh, this is the actual micro switch that does all the work when you actually push on a button. A little arm comes down from the button and hits this little contact right there. And as I said in the other videos um, on wiring and the installation of the, uh, the actual LED itself, you got to make sure that all of this stuff the, the, the wiring itself and the heat shrink and the shielding is all away from this little tiny piece of plastic arm that comes up and actually pushes this button because if you can't push the button then the LEDs don't mean you anything um, so anyway they're really simple to install they have two little holes here one in the front and one in the back front and back and um, I typically start with the front and you just sort of wedge it in the front end and then pop it down into the back end like so and that's basically it for the actual installation of the switch so you have your LEDs that run under the switch and into a little hole um, the LED bulb actually fits into a little hole then the little micro switch fits on top of that and as you can see here this is going to be a green LED which is why I highly recommend using uh, colored cabling. Also just to make sure that you've plugged in the right, uh, you put your LEDs on the right side. I started out putting this as a red thinking that, oh it's on the left side, but you got to understand when you're working from the bottom, everything is reversed. So these are my red ones down here. So anyway, once you get the actual switch installed, then you run the cabling for it. There is a sort of lead uh, cable here that I indicate with a red wiring. I bought this wiring at um, Radio Shack. I think it's 22 gauge. And then I bought the clips from Groovy Game Gear. Uh, I recommend you doing that because it's hard to find them, especially in the right size for these uh, micro clips or uh, micro uh, switches. The .187 size female uh, quick release clip, whatever they're called. Uh, you can buy, I bought a bag of these for like I think $2, uh, a bag of 50 of them, and I always uh, keep plenty of them because I've taken on a real hobby of building these arcades, um, and I just find uh, some enjoyment in doing it, so I've always got plenty of these. Hard to find uh, unless you're buying them at Radio Shack, of which you only get like six or seven of them for the same amount of money I spent on a bag of 50. So they simply insert in. on the top prong. Now it will depend on the micro switch you use. Can't say that 100% that of the time, but for these you put it on this top prong closest to the ground prong. And with the ground prong I built this sort of uh, common ground cable. As you can see there's one, two, three, four, and it just keeps going five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of my common ground connections are all on this one cable. Now I custom built this uh, groovygamegear.com actually sells one I think if I'm not mistaken. Maybe they don't. Um, yeah, it might be another website that sells uh, one already prefabricated. But it takes nothing to just go ahead and, and cut these little uh, wires yourself and uh, crimp them down and, and basically make these yourself. So basically they'll just, I, I do this so that I only need one cable because it can these can be daisy chained. 
the red ones have to be this will go actually into my controller I'm using a um, LED whiz uh, slash um, input it's like 16 and 16 since this is only a one player uh, unit and that'll actually screw down into that and I'll demonstrate that a little later on but this one um, uh, common ground uh, wire we just connect in on the top side here like that and you do that for all of your controllers all of your switches and that is it so I'm going to finish this up here and, and uh, do some cable management here on all these loose wires so it doesn't look like crap and uh, I will shoot in my next video as fully assembling everything else and we'll see how this thing works Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos.